Once you realise you need support, commit to re-engaging in you, what's the next step? It's time to refocus on you. When talking about refocusing, what does that mean? Well, so much of what you do means that your focus is elsewhere. That could be on tasks, managing workload, managing others' workload. You get the idea. There is so much going on that you struggle to think about you and it gets to a point where you are just going through the motions. Turning up, but not showing up and being present. Completing a task, but not engaging with it and doing it to the best of your ability. Saying yes to taking on more, not saying no because you are already overloaded and overwhelmed. What if you didn't have to be in this situation anymore? What if you could make a positive change and refocus on you and doing all that you do differently and more effectively? And learn how to say no to things that no longer serve you or add any value for you anymore. You can. You've all heard of SMART goals, I'm sure. However, have you ever thought about the motivation needed to make a goal successful? Yes. No. And I'm very sure you've all heard about being an authentic leader. Do you make sure you're an authentic leader? It's time you stop pushing aside you for other more pressing priorities. Once you realise this and re-engage with you, you can refocus the priorities in your work life and ensure you and your priorities are at the top. Do come and join us in our Facebook group. It's called Leading You to Things That Matter, where we have a weekly leadership theme in a supportive business community that promotes learning and sharing. I look forward to seeing you in there.